Hi everyone, welcome. Uh, let's play our 10 hands of bridge as usual and tonight I'm going to try to do what I was wanting to do last week and that is just keep the bidding really simple and um, see how we go. So let's begin. I have uh, 15 high card points and I'm playing a weak no trump so I'm a little bit too strong to open a no trump here. So I'm just going to start with a club. Hey, Marianne. Hey, Terence. Well, that's great. One club. Okay, so uh, no use getting panicking or anything. We're in one club. A um, couple of diamond tricks, a spade tricks, three. There's no point drawing trumps here. I'm just going to play some diamonds. Honestly, sometimes you just get in a bad contract. Nothing. Sometimes it happens. So I'm just going to play some tricks and see what happens. Club. Okay, so that's kind of... Okay, so uh, at least now we've got... So Queen King Ace. Now we've got the Jack Eight. So space and good to me here. We've got Jack eight of clubs, which is good. Uh, all right, again, not too bad. We're, there's only the 10 of clubs missing. We're up to four tricks already. Let's just play a spade. Uh, spades don't break, which is slightly annoying. Oh, and West. Oh, was my eight of clubs good? Shit. Sorry, my mistake. My eight of clubs was good. I thought that... What happened to the ten of clubs? Did I miss the ten of clubs? Okay, so we're actually going to end... Oh, no, I didn't miss the ten of clubs. No, we were in a 4-1 club, but... Sorry, what am I talking about? Okay, so we are going to end up down two. What a miserable start. But... Let's see. Okay, so... Here's the thing, it seemed like we're in a horrible contract and we can, you know, we can get it upset and all wound up about it. And I think I actually miss, I miscounted the Trump suit, believe it or not. Uh, and we still end up with 49%. So, you know, I suspect that, uh, I suspect what happens was that people perhaps got too high. You know, maybe the north and south kept on bidding and got too high. And um, the fact that we're in one club, for a lot of people, you say, oh, no, how can we possibly be in one club? But we did okay just because we just didn't have, you know, we didn't belong any higher. <laughs> maybe we belonged in diamonds. But um, there you go. It's, it's all fine. Look at that. It wasn't a disaster at all. Okay, hand two. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Another balanced, um, not a great hand this time. Here I'm just going to pass. Uh, eleven count. The ten of hearts is good. Nine of diamonds is good, but it's really not enough to open the bidding for me. So I'm just going to pass. Spade and no trump pass. Two hearts. So West has got five spades and four hearts. If West had four spades and four hearts, even playing four card majors, um, that would still show five spades and four hearts. If West had a balanced hand, um, he would have either opened a no trump or, or left East in a no trump. So West is not balanced. And if he's not balanced, he's going to have a five card suit somewhere. And so that suit is certainly going to be spade. So West is five spades and four hearts. East, uh, one of Trump there is six to nine points. That two spade bid doesn't necessarily show a spade fit. East, all East is saying here is that I, East knows that West has got five spades and four hearts. And East is simply saying, okay, given that's the case, I think two spades is probably going to be better than two hearts. 
So let's pass three spades. So pass, pass, pass. All right. So West is uh, inviting to gain theirs. So West will have something like 16, 17 high card points, maybe 18, but around 17. And um, East is saying, no, not, not interested in game. And there we can see why. So East has only got six high card points, which is why she didn't accept the invitation. And look again, look carefully at West's bidding there. Sorry, East's bidding. Uh, one spade, one of Trump, two hearts, two spades. Why would East bid two spades with only a two card spade suit for exactly those things I'm talking about there? Um, East, West has shown spades and hearts, five spades and four hearts. And East is just saying, look, I'd rather play in spades than hearts. That's all she's saying. So East bidding is absolutely fine. Okay, here we go. Uh, so we just follow suit here. Ace, diamond, spade. Okay, that's great. Uh, West North wins that with the eight. Ten of diamonds. Now, I don't. I think West has got the jack of diamonds now. If North had jack ten of diamonds, uh, he would have played the jack. So let's play the king here. Uh, I'm sort of, yeah. I don't know. I don't think. What's going on there? What's West? What's North got? Ten. Not really sure what North's got there. Maybe West has got the Jack of Diamonds. Maybe North is being silly there. You know, maybe West is five spades, four hearts, three diamonds, and one club. That kind of makes sense. Now, I am a little bit tempted, <laughs> excuse me, to play a spade here because what I don't want to happen is I don't want the Clara to play Ace of Hearts, King of Hearts, Rougher Heart, and, and take all those club tricks. So I'm sort of tempted to play a spade. The only thing is that I'm thinking, well, why didn't West do that anyway? I don't know. So let's try diamond. Okay, so now we can be pretty sure that West was has started with five spades or hearts, three diamonds, and one club. So uh this is interesting isn't it because i can just play six here and let north win but north's going to have a bit of a problem now if north wins this ten of spades what's north going to do next north's got no diamonds left um i'm kind of worried that north will play a club <laughs> he shouldn't but i'm kind of worried that he will the only thing North might do rather than play a club is play a heart, which I don't really want either because I'd rather wait for those hearts. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to, I'm just going to play the ace and play the nine of diamonds. Now, don't play a club. Oh, nice. Okay, good. I don't know if I should have done that or not, to be honest. Anyway, we just got to sit and wait for our heart tricks now. Kind of doesn't, you know, we're kind of stuck here because if if North North has won the trick here, but uh, he's got no hearts left, he's just going to have to play a club. So West is going to get the last trick, whatever we do. You know, I play low and North plays a club. Uh, doesn't matter. So whatever. Okay, fine. Kind of not much to that, really. I, I, I don't know if I should have overtaken that spade or not. Probably not, but I don't know. Anyway, let's look at West bidding there. It's all, all as we expect. Uh, five spades and four hearts. We know that from the auction. Five spades and four hearts. And then when North played the diamonds like that, we know that West started with three diamonds. And so we just figure out the whole shape. Um, and it's fairly... Fairly straightforward. North did well not to play uh, another club there. So, 
kind of yeah not really much to these hands it's sort of interesting to look at the shape and what have you but um that's about it 789 10 11 13 high card points another flat balanced hand this time i am going to open a no trump Now, for those of you playing standard, um, you would open this a club, but for those playing Akol, then a weak no trump, then that's a one no trump opening. What do you all you guys play? Um, Mary Ann, you're an Akol player from Rotorua, I suspect. Terence, probably standard. Anne from York. Hi Heather. Marisha, what do you what system do you guys play there in the Netherlands? David Clear, welcome. Okay, three no trumps. And, yep, David's standard American. Q from Star Trek, standard, good. Okay, let's see what we've got here. So, three of hearts, the computer plays fourth highest leads. Not everybody plays fourth highest leads, but the computer does. It doesn't matter what leads the opposition are making, we've always got clues from them. So, the fact that West has led the three of hearts, um, he's, he's got... That's his fourth highest heart. So where is where is the fifth highest heart? Well, West hasn't got it because I've got the two. Okay, three, two. So West has got no more hearts. That means West started with exactly four hearts and therefore East also started with four hearts, which is kind of good news. Um, kind of good because that means the hearts break. No one's going to be able to run a long suit against us. Uh, so, and let's, okay, Marianne's saying let's count the winners and the losers. All right, so the club suit's easy. We've got four club tricks, ace, king, queen, jack, four. Hearts, because of the lead, we've got two heart tricks, so we're up to six. We've got three spade tricks for sure, so that we're up to nine. Maybe another spade if the spades break, but we can only count nine for certain. And then... We, the way people normally count the winners and losers, count your winners and no trumps, the ace of diamonds is 10, but we're not supposed to count the queen jack nine of diamonds because they're not set up as winners yet. So for the sh for sure tricks, we've got four clubs, two hearts is six, three spades is nine, and one diamond is 10. Contracts are no danger. Where can we get our extra tricks from? Well, uh, maybe the spades will break 3-3, or maybe the, we can get some diamond tricks. So I'm certainly going to play the diamonds first. I'm just going to play the 10. If this kind of doesn't matter if it wins or loses, really. If it loses, I've set up two more diamond tricks. If it wins, great. Okay, it loses, but now I've got two more diamond tricks. So let's let's do a recount. So we've already got one trick. We've still got another heart for two. We've still got four club tricks for six. We've now got three diamond tricks for nine. And we've also got three spade tricks for 12. So that's it. We've got 12 tricks. So we can just play ace of hearts. Um, it doesn't really matter what order we play this. But I'm just going to go this way. I'm going to basically look at the north hand, and you'll see that the north hand becomes all winners. So 12 tricks here. Bidding's fine. Bidding's fine. I mean, we got the heart lead, which gave us a trick, so no big deal missing out on... I'm sure the score will be fine. We won't get the top score. We won't get the worst score. What's your guess? What's our score going to be on this hand? Um, I reckon 64. 74. Okay. Why, why am I... Why is it so good? Well, people will be in five clubs. Terence saying 60. Okay. Yeah, we've got we've got a bit of them, bit better than that. Thing is, we're in a good contract. 
and you would think, well, the contract is normal. But who, I mean, every time, let's face it, whenever we play bridge and we look at the results, we always say, oh, yeah, this contract's normal, but it's never normal. Someone's, there's always different contracts. You know, maybe someone played in five clubs uh, with the club fit. Um, who knows? Um, but just a normal, normal contract, normal three no trumps, um, and, you know, nothing flash, and we chalk up our 74, and that's great. Yeah, interesting about the systems, isn't it? Looks because half the people seem to play Akol, and uh, there you go. Anne's playing Akol. Terence is standard. Um, Marisha's standard. Uh, five card majors. Rogers Akol. Um, it's all over the place. Both, uh, you know, perfectly good systems. Okay, two spades, double three spades. This two spades. Um, Sorry, just the last question. Sarah's saying, shouldn't North have known Slam was possible? Yeah, yeah. He, he, he knows Slam is possible, but possible doesn't necessarily mean we want to be bidding the Slam. It worked out well because we got a heart lead. If we didn't have the heart lead, we wouldn't have made um, we wouldn't have made our Slam. So, yes, but we were lucky. Okay, we got a heart lead. That gave us our 12th trip. Without the heart lead, maybe not so easy. So it's easy. sometimes you look at those hands and say, oh, we should have been slammed. But just because we make 12 tricks doesn't necessarily mean that that was a contract we want to be in. Uh, okay, so two spades, double three spades. Two spades, we're playing weak twos, so um, that's just a six-card suit. Double from north is takeout. Three spades from east, so we just bid four hearts here. It's, uh, you know, it's not a super good hand. And the spade suit is a bit of a worry, in a sense, because west has got six, east has probably got three, to raise to three spades there. And I've got two, so it's quite likely that North also has two, which is not good for us. We're up, we're gonna be missing two spade tricks. I'd actually rather have three spades because if I had three, then I would know that North probably only had one, which would be good. But two, two isn't so good, but you know, we're still gonna bid four hearts here. And there we go, two, two spades, exactly what we were imagining. So again, how do we know? Just look at the auction. West bid two spades, showing six, and East raised to three spades, which almost always shows three card support. So East and West have got nine. Two in my hand means North probably has two. Three in my hand would have been better because then I knew North only had one. Okay, Ace, King. Now, that's good news because it means that West, uh, the fact that East, sorry, West is on lead means that a diamond lead isn't a problem for me. If East had been on lead and led a diamond, I wouldn't have been so happy. And uh, I've still got one diamond to lose, but that's probably all I'm going to lose. So let's just draw some trumps. Don't need to take the diamond finesse now. The trumps are all gone. Don't need to take the diamond finesse because my clubs, on the clubs I can throw diamonds. Actually, I tell you what, I, where do you, who's got the ace of diamonds? Who, who do you think's got the ace of diamonds on this hand? I'm going to do a little sneaky trick here. Who's got the ace? So remember, West opened two spades, a week two in spades, and led the ace king of spades. So that's seven points. There's no way West is going to have the ace of diamonds as well for a week two. So East has definitely got the ace of diamonds. If I can play a diamond to the king, if that wins, 
I can cross back to the jack and the last two clubs throw my last two diamonds. So I'm going to put East to the test here. Now, I wouldn't do this if I thought West might have the Ace of Diamonds, but I'm just so sure that East has got the Ace of Diamonds. If I play the nine and East plays low, my king wins, back to the jack, and we're good. The other thing I could do is I could play the jack of diamonds, making it look like I'm going to let it run. That might work as well. I'll play the nine. Queen, all right, good, okay, awesome. So now I can win the king for sure. Cross back to the jack. And now we play clubs. Now you could say, well, that was a mistake from East. Yep, sure, yeah, East probably should have won the Ace of Diamonds there. But people make mistakes. And if you can find a way to allow your opposition to make mistakes, you get your extra tricks. So um, don't be, I'm not too proud to <laughs> put the opposition to the test. Um, Marisha's off to work. Okay, Marisha, Marisha see you later. And uh, let's play hand five. So we're doing okay so far tonight, just by just, you know, nothing. We played in one club, we played in three no trumps, we um, all pretty normal, and we seem to be doing okay. So a diamond, a heart, five, six, seven, eight high card points. So I'm just going to bit a spade here. Nothing fancy. Three diamonds. I do like that queen of diamonds now. I like this hand a lot. Why do I like the queen of diamonds so much? Because East has opened one diamond and bid three diamonds. So, sorry, North. North is going to have a six-card diamond suit and a reasonable hand, you know, 16 points, six-card diamond suit. That queen of diamonds is going to be great. It's going to help us to um, run that diamond suit. Um, so I've got an easy three-no trump bid now. Not tempted to bid the spades again at all. Mm -mm. We don't, might not have a spade fit. Three-no trumps looks great. I've got the hearts there. I'm going to run the diamonds. So no way am I tempted to bid three spades. Ooh, well, yeah, interesting. So spades, well, spades might, if we had been in spades, we could lose two clubs and a spade. We would need spades to break. So four spades could go down on this hand. Uh, three no trumps would go down on a club lead, but of course, East and West don't know to lead clubs. So we're going to make, I'm just going to have to run for home here uh, because if I try and set up a spade trick, the opposition are just going to run their clubs. And I also have to be a little bit careful. If I play the diamonds now, I can't get back to the heart suit. So I've got to take the king now. Cross to the Queen of Diamonds. <coughs> Excuse me. I, you know, I'd love to just run the diamonds, but then as soon as I lose the lead, they're going to take all their clubs. So I can't. I've just got to take the Queen of Hearts and and run the diamonds. And that's all we get. Four spades might have been better as it happens. Uh, and yeah, four spades would have all four spades was actually a good contract. Spades break. So we would just would have lost two clubs and um, a spade. But still, I still wasn't tempted to bid um, uh, my spades again. Three no trumps is fine. It's normal for West to lead a heart there because East overcalled hearts. And um, we end up again 
you know, we're not we're not doing anything clever tonight, but we just keep getting these reasonable scores just by not not doing anything clever. Uh, sometimes getting to the wrong contract, but just not doing anything really oddball. 10, 20 high card points, so this one's two no trumps. Three hearts, I think I'm playing transfers. Yeah, three hearts transfers, so I just bid three spades here. And North bids three no trumps. So what's going on? That is three hearts as a transfer to spades, showing a five-card spade suit. And now North has bid three no trumps. Why did he do that? Why did he bid show me a spade suit and then bid three no trumps? He's just giving me the choice. If North does have a five-card spade suit, why didn't he transfer to spades and bid the spades again? Because he's doesn't know we've got a spade fit. So what North is doing there is he's saying that he's got exactly five spades and he's giving me the choice. There you go, Marianne, you're quite right. He's, he's saying, do you want to play in spades or no trumps? And I want to play in spades this time. I know my hand is balanced, but we do have an eight card spade fit. So certainly I'm going to bid four spades. And there we go. We are. This is a reasonable contract. Now, this. It's. Maybe we can make six spades. But maybe not. Uh, it, it's going to depend on the queen of spades. We may lose a spade. And we also. Maybe we're going to lose the king of hearts. So slam might make might not make should we be in a slam well we can't get to the end of the hand and make 12 tricks and then say well we should have been in a slam because we might get to the end of the hand and only make 11 tricks if, if um, spades if we can't make five spade tricks and the king of hearts is offside so what north did is fine we're in a perfectly good contract maybe we'll make more i'm not sure but this is fine now, there is a chance, six of clubs, jack, ten, seven, six. I don't know. There's a small chance that that nine might win. It does. So West has led fourth highest club and one, two. It kind of doesn't help us in a way <laughs> because, you know, great, the club wins, but we still have there's still no way of avoiding the heart finesse all right i'm going to play ace of spades the percentage play in the spades here is to finesse the spades but i'm going to play the ace first just in case somebody's got a singleton queen no so now i'm going to cross to the ace of diamonds and finesse the spade there is a little bit of a danger here that if i finesse the spade if west wins the queen and plays maybe a club, then I've run the risk of this getting, a, a, of a, a, um, east and west getting a rough here. But I still want to try this. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, now this is a little bit what I was worried about. Okay, we're off the, we're fine. Okay, there's one trump left. So let's draw that last trump. And we've still got the heart finesse to take. Uh, yeah, we've got to just take the heart finesse. So I'm just going to play ace of clubs, throwing a heart. King of clubs, throwing a heart. Finesse the heart. There we go. Look at that. So we only make... Tw uh, we only make 11 tricks because both finesse is lost. Now, who at the start of that hand thought, oh, we, maybe we should have been in slam? At the end of the hand, have we made 12 tricks? We would all been saying, oh, we should have been slam. But game was good.
So, yeah, we can't get, again, just repeating myself here, we can't get to the end of the hand, make 12 tricks and say, oh, we should have been in slam because we don't know what's going to happen on the hand. And we don't always make those 12 tricks. Um, so, and look, here we are. We, we just keep bidding normal, simple contracts and keep getting reasonable scores. So... Let's just keep doing that. Terence, did think you have finesse to make better? Yeah, I mean, I've been in worse slams, <laughs> for sure. But Okay, here we go. Uh, 10, 13 high card points. Sarah's saying, when should you bid a slam confidently? Uh Okay, uh, Sarah. Here's this is what I this is my sort of thinking. Just quickly, this is how I look at things. I got real simple rules for bidding. Have I got? Um, uh, where have I? Probably got that somewhere. I made a little chart. Uh, oh, here we go. No, that's not. Sorry, sorry. Bear with me for a second. I made a little chart, which I've. Uh, where did I put that? Sorry, everyone. Just bear with me for one second. Uh, where did I put that? Bidding in three. Can't remember where I put it. Oh, oh here we go. Look. So this is what I did here. Just go to grahamtufnell.com, my website, grahamtufnell.com. Go and look at um, bidding and bridge, three strategies. Click that one. There's a bit of a video there um, talking about the different things you need to think about in bidding. And then way down the bottom, you'll see my little chart. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And... That's how I look at things. So, for example, six clubs, six diamonds, six hearts, six spades. Suit contracts good with 30 to 33 points and a good trump fit. Just have a read of that, and that'll that's kind of my – that page is pretty much my whole philosophy about bidding and bridge. So, grahamtuffnell.com, and then um, – uh bidding and bridge three strategies check it out and let's back to our hand uh there we go right uh 12 13 high card points so again for me this is one no trump two no trumps inviting the game and so north is saying are you minimum or maximum well and I'm sort of in the middle, right? So my 12 to 14 is, sorry, my one no trump is 12 to 14, and I've got 13. So what am I supposed to do with 13? Um, am I minimum or am I maximum? I'm exactly in the middle. Well, a better way of thinking about that two no trump bid is think of it as if you're not minimum, go to game. So if you're minimum pass, if you're not minimum, go to game. Well, I'm not minimum because 12 is minimum, 14 is maximum, and 13 is in the middle. So I'm, I'm not minimum, so I accept the invitation. Two of diamonds. Uh, all right, so let's, let's count our tricks again. We've got, let's go through spade tricks. We've got none yet. We can't count any spade tricks. Not initially. We're going to get some spade tricks, but just for now, don't count any. Two heart tricks because we've got the ace king. Jack of hearts might make a trick. Not sure, but we can't count it. So two heart tricks. We've got ace king of clubs, so that's four. We've got the ace of diamonds is five. So we've got five tricks. We need to get four more. Where are we going to get them from? Maybe the heart finesse, maybe the 
clubs, maybe spades. We're also actually going to get two diamond tricks because when I play low, two, six, if North plays the queen or king, I win the ace, and then I've still got the jack and 10 left. And if East plays low, then my jack wins. Did I say North there? Sorry. So here we go, six, eight. Right, my jack wins. So I'm going to get two diamond tricks. Had East played, East probably doesn't have the king or the queen. It looks like West has got the king and the queen. But had East played the king or the queen, I would win the ace, and that would have left me with the jack 10 for another trick. So, great, we can win the jack there. Okay, where, so what's your choice? Which, we're going to set up spade tricks or heart tricks or club tricks? Where's our, what suit are we going to um, work on? What do you think? I'm actually going to, I'm going to go for spades first. Because with the clubs, we've got two club tricks for sure anyway. We might get one more or two more club tricks. Might get two more club tricks. If we finesse the heart, we might get one more heart trick. If we finesse the spades, remember we've counted no spade tricks so far. If we finesse the spades, we might get three more spade tricks if East has got the queen of spades. So I'm going to cross over to the ace. I can always finesse the clubs later and play a spade to the nine. Oh, look at that. So that nine lost to the ace, four, three, nine, ace, which is good. So East has got the queen of spades. So that means we've got three spade tricks. You can always take two spade finesses. Uh, now, West has played a spade, which has just made it easier for us in a way, but we, we, there was never a problem. We were always going to make three spade tricks, even if West hadn't played another spade. So spades, although they looked sort of, you know, they didn't stand out as the best suit, they gave us the greatest potential to get extra tricks. So I can play spade to the king. Now I've got my two spade tricks here. I kind of like to leave those as entries for later. I might need to get back to my hand. So now, now I'm going to take the club finesse. And if I take the club finesse and it wins, then I can easily get back to the jack on tennis space to take another club finesse. Um, you know, I could get back with hearts, not really a problem, but I'm just going to take the club finesse now. Okay, awesome. That, so that wins. So we're looking pretty good. So now I can go back to the spades. And we might as well cash the last spade. We can take another club. Okay, that wins. And might as well catch the club. And now uh, I can take the heart finesse, and it doesn't matter if it went, if it, even if it loses, East and West have got nothing to return except hearts and diamonds. So there's no problem here. East and West have got no clubs and spades left. So I can safely take the heart finesse, which loses. That's fine. We end up with um, 11 tricks. Uh, so again, nothing fancy, normal bidding, um, spades, because that gave us the uh, potential to make the most extra tricks. Let me just run through that again, because um, just to be sure we got this. So but with the clubs, we'd already counted two club tricks. The best we could hope for is another two. Okay, we already counted the ace-king, so... By playing clubs, we might get another two. By taking the heart finesse, we'd already counted two, we might get another one. But by playing the spades, if East has got the queen of spades, we potentially were going to get another three. And East did have the queen of spades, so we get three spade tricks. 
had the speed finesse lost, okay, not the end of the world, we could still play another speed and establish two speed tricks. Roger saying, were when you bid three no trumps, weren't you worried about not having a club stopper in clubs? No, no, I mean nobody had bid clubs. So if the opposition had a club suit, they could have bid them. And uh, we got 25 points between the two hands. So, you know, it's it's possible that the opposition are going to make five club tricks, six club tricks. Now, if North had nothing in clubs, it's possible. Um, but it's the it's not worth worrying about. It's better to say, okay, I got 25 points. I'm just going to bid three no trumps. And most of the time, that's going to be the right contract. Sometimes it's going to be bad because the opposition take the first six tricks and it's bad. But most of the time, it's going to be good. So our whole approach to bidding in bridge is not to... I'm not sure what it's not. But what it is, is to get to the contract that's likely to be the good contract most of the time and not worry about the odd disaster. And, you know, on that page that I showed you earlier, there it is. It's, you've got a three no trumps, you've got 25 points and a no major fit. Just bid three no trumps. Don't worry about stoppers. Um, the, the danger of not doing that is that you miss out on too many three no trump contracts. Okay, good question though, Roger. Thanks. You know, stoppers are an interesting thing. If the opposition had bid a suit, yeah, sure. Or bid and supported a suit, sure. But otherwise, you know, stoppers, worrying about stoppers is going to mess your bridge up. <laughs> Don't worry about stoppers. It'll, it'll do your head in if you're worried about them all the time. Just accept the odd bad score and it's, you're better off. Okay, 11 hard card points. I'm just going to overcall a heart here. My hearts aren't super good, but ace 10 9 is fine. I've got a decent hand, ace of spades, king of clubs. So certainly going to bid a heart here. And now we're done. Uh, I can't bid the hearts again. I've already shown five. North knows I've got five. If North had three, he would have supported the hearts. So nothing for me to do. Jack of hearts. And all right, so it looks like West has got the king, queen of hearts. So North, is, North has led the jack. That will almost certainly be um, a... Um, Doubleton heart. If North had three hearts, he almost certainly would have supported the heart. So I think North's got Doubleton Jack of hearts and West has got the king and the queen. Uh, now, this is a little interesting. What I... You know, maybe the diamonds run, maybe the diamonds don't run, I'm not sure. But what I'm not going to do here is I'm not going to take the ace of hearts, even though I know West has got the king and the queen. If I play the ace, definitely West is going to make the king, queen of hearts. But if I play low, yes, West wins the queen. But then the player has got no hearts left to play another heart towards the king. So I'm just going to play low here. That'll be the queen. Uh, king of diamonds, which I'm not loving. Okay, so they're going to run the diamond suit. It still doesn't matter because I've still got the ace of hearts. It's not like that trick's going to go away some anywhere. Do have to, and so David's saying good to duck. Yep, I agree totally. Now I'm just going to have to be a bit careful because I've got to find six discards. Uh, I can pitch three hearts. Sorry, I've still got to follow suit with a diamond. I've got to find five discards. I'm actually, I think I want to throw my hearts because I don't want to clear, I don't want to set that heart trick up. So I'm going to start throwing hearts. Spade. So West is, West is hanging on to his hearts. Uh, oh, a club. 
Another speed. What was the betting? Oh, a sp speed. So West has got speeds. West is running out of clubs here. I'll throw a heart. I'm kind of hopeful that we might end up getting a... Yeah. I'm a bit, what I, I'm a bit nervous about playing a spade here. If East plays the king of spades and set the spades up, that wouldn't be very good for me. So I could throw a club, but then I'm worried about the club suit. I'm going to throw a spade. I don't know. I hope we, East plays a club now. Oh, he plays a... Oh, okay. King and Queen of Clubs. So we're going to get one more trick. Because after I've taken the Ace of Hearts, I'm going to have to play a club. Now, I don't think there was much I could do here. I mean, I could have... There really wasn't much I could do. Uh, if I play a club... The, the clear will win. I still get a club trick at the end, but that's all I'm going to get. If I play the Ace of Hearts, if the clearer throws away the King of Spades, doesn't. That was unlikely to happen. So we, I have to give up, give up the last two club tricks. Anyway, we still made our Ace of Hearts, but that's oh, North had the Queen of Spades. Oh no, that's disappointing. North had the Queen of Spades. Ah, so I could have, I actually would have been better to throw my clubs. Okay, so we get a rap, we get a, I almost said a bad word. <laughs> I was going to say we get a ratchet score here, but then I realized I'm on the internet and I shouldn't be saying that. So I decided not to say that. Anyway, we get a bad score. Had I pitched a club, then and kept my spade we would have ended up with two spade tricks so not so good okay never mind let's play hand nine and marianne west has five hearts yeah you're quite right marianne okay uh one club pass so just going to bit a spade here six points that's enough to bit a spade Three no trumps, pass. I've got a spade suit, you know, it's possible um, we've got a spade bit, but I'm not going to bid four spades here. And that's great. So uh, for Roger, look, you know, this could have gone horribly wrong, but we're probably going to be okay here. We get one spade trick, two heart tricks is three. We get a diamond is four. Five club tricks, maybe. I kind of want to finesse the club, but I'm a bit short of entry. So let's play. Let's see what happens here. Ten of diamonds. I kind of, I would actually like to finesse the clubs. Ten of dime, ten two six king. Interesting. I don't want to mess up my entries, but I really would like to be in the south hand to finesse the clubs. I can do that by crossing to the ace of hearts. Hmm. I can do that by crossing to the ace of hearts, but I don't really want to do that. I don't, I'd kind of like to keep my hearts for later. So do I cross to the ace of hearts and finesse the club or do I just play ace king in another club? From, if I cross the ace of hearts, finesse the club and it loses and they play another heart, I'm not in such great shape. Oh, gosh. I'm going to finesse the club. Hi, Carol from Austin, Texas. I'm not thrilled about this, but I really want to finesse the club. Lost. Yeah, and that's, that's exactly what I was worried about. By, by using up my king of hearts, if clubs don't run now, I'm in serious strife. 
Or, well, actually, no, that's my ten of hearts is actually a trick now. So that was a little lucky. Anyway, let's play ace. Uh, I think East has got the Ace of Diamonds, but I'm just going to... Okay, so that's great. So I'm going to play Club. 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 And I... Well, I can play Diamonds safely. Now, the worst that can happen is I can lose two Diamonds. The best that can happen is that... Um, my queen of diamonds is an entry to the ten of hearts. So there we go. I'm going to end up with uh, 11. Oh, jack of spades is good as well. Okay, so I'm spoiled for choice now. I can play the diamond to the queen and then the ten of hearts, or I can play the jack of spades and over to the queen of diamonds. So um, that's all fine. I'll just play a diamond to the queen and the ten of hearts. Yeah, it wasn't, yeah. Don't know, sometimes we just got to give it our best guess. That could have been a disaster if the clubs had not broken. If, if one player had four clubs and the other had two, it would have been horrible. But I did want to take the club finesse, so we were okay. Eight, nine, 13 high card points, and I'm just not bidding. All vulnerable. I don't want to be bidding two hearts going down two for minus two hundred. Um, so I'm just going to pass. I know I know lots would bid two hearts here, but I'm not going to. And I'm not bidding now. Um, you know, if I bid hearts now, I've got to go to the three level. I just don't want to be playing three hearts on a with a five card suit. Five three three two shapes not that great. We're vulnerable. I just happy to be out of this hand. Kind of super happy now because West, East and West have got the points. So, yep, really glad not to be in this. Pass, pass, pass. Now, I know, you, I know you'll be looking at this and saying, well, why not overcall two hearts? You've got a 12 points and a good five-card suit. Five, three, three, two is just not good shape. And I've got to go to the two level and, and the vulnerable and... Carol saying, "Would I use the rule of twenty only for an opening bid?" Carol, good good point, but use the rule of twenty just for opening bids, not for overcalls. So my problem here is that I can't open at the one level. Yes, if I was the opener, I would certainly open a heart, but I'm, I don't want to bid two hearts. I think that's just too much. So we are in four spades, or Easter's in four spades. My lead. I don't want to lead a heart because uh, East and West seem to have 25 points. So North's only going to have four or five points. And it's very likely that North doesn't have anything in hearts. So leading a heart, I'm just giving, likely to be giving to Clara a free finesse. Likewise with clubs and, and diamonds, I just don't want to lead those suits. So I'm actually going to lead a spade which hopefully is not going to give anything away. And I just want to sit and wait for my tricks. Okay, and here are the transfers again. West has shown a five-card spade suit and around about 11 points. So that two hearts showed a five-card spade suit. Two no trumps showed 11 points. So East is now has to decide what to do. And East knows that West has got five spades, around about 11 points. East has gone to four spades, so East will have three or four card spade support and uh, not minimum. So East will have 13 or 14 points and three or four spades. So here we go. Spade. Okay, so did East have Ace, King, Queen, Jack of Spades? Quite likely. Oh, maybe, uh, yeah, quite likely East had Ace, King, Queen, Jack of Spades. Yeah, he's had East King, East King, Queen Jack of Spades. So that's ten of points, ten of East's points already. So East opened a no trump, twelve to fourteen, and then we know East had Ace King, Queen Jack of Spades. So that's ten. What else has East got? 
Well, East has got two, three, or four more points, not in hearts, because the Ace Queen are there. So where are East points? Well, one point in the only points that are missing are the Jack of Clubs and the King Queen of Diamonds. Right, tell me about the diamond suit. What's going on in the diamond suit? We can we can we can't tell exactly, but we do know something about the diamond suit regarding the diamond honors. Okay, who's who can figure out what I'm what I'm getting at here? Okay, let's let me go through the maths again. It's not really maths, it's only simple addition, all right? So East has got 12 to 14 points. Let's put it like this. Uh, where's my crawl? So look at East hand. We know East had Ace, King, Queen, Jack of Spades. We know, we don't know what else East has got, but we do know that East has got between 12 and 14 points. Not 15, not 11. So can East have the King, Queen of Diamonds? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Because that would be 15 points. And East would be too strong to open a no-trump. Could North have the King, Queen of Diamonds? Mm-mm because that would only leave one point, the Jack of Clubs, and that wouldn't be enough for East to open a no trump. So we know that either North has got the King and East has got the Queen of Diamonds, or North has got the Queen and East has got the King of Diamonds. We still don't know about the Jack of, uh, Jack of Clubs. Where did my hand go? So we just have to basically wait for our diamond trick. Oh, in fact, here it is. Okay. So we can play the jack there. We were always getting get two diamond tricks, providing we didn't lead the ace. And now kind of doesn't matter. I mean, with the heart suit, the cleric can take the heart for near some time anyway. I guess there's a chance that we could maybe trap the clear on the table. If North has got the Jack of Clubs, we may... Oh, no, East has... The clear has still got a spade. So the clear can always take the heart finesse. Oh, he didn't take the heart finesse. She didn't take the heart finesse. So that was a mistake. So now we get to take our King of Hearts. I'm not going to play a the ace of clubs. Am I not going to play the ace of clubs? What happened on the diamond suit? What, someone remind me what happened on the diamond suit. I played the ace. I think we've still got a. If North has got the, I can't remember. I can't remember what happened. I wasn't. Concentrating, we may be able to get two club tricks. The only day, yeah, we're going to get two. Yeah, we. I'm going to play the, the eight of clubs. If I play the ace, it just sets up the king queen. There is a chance that North has got the jack of clubs. In which case, maybe, maybe if Declara isn't careful. Oh no. Okay, so East had the jack of clubs. Nothing we could do. All right, so that's the end. Um, and declare it ends up with 10 tricks. Okay, so that, that was good. There was, um, that's our 10 hands. And we had one dud. We had one dud score. But the rest, pretty good, I think. And um, nothing, that's my, what I hope would happen. We didn't do anything clever. We did nothing smart. We just played real simple and we did okay. And that's bridge. That's bridge for you. We don't have to be smart. We just have to be 
normal. <laughs> Do have a look at the website again. There's a whole lot of stuff there. Let me just show you again. Just go to wherever it is. GrahamTuffnell.com, and you'll also see the live streams. All the old live streams are here as well. You'll recognize some of these. Um, all the live streams, a whole bunch of lessons, and you can also, um, it gives you the date for the next live stream there as well. So check that out if you like, and I will see you all uh, in another week, if not before. See you next week. Night all. <laughs>